What is up guys, welcome back to another TBC Classic video. Today we're talking about add-ons and weak auras, and basically which add-ons I'm using right now in TBC Classic. I made a video about add-ons for TBC Classic back in beta, but I think it's time to do an update on that video now that we actually have TBC Classic, and talk about which add-ons I actually still use, and which new ones I've found as well that are helpful to me, and that enhance my gameplay in some way, shape or form. So that's what we're doing today, we're checking out a lot of different add-ons that I'm currently using that I really recommend to pretty much anyone. So let's just start off, we're going to go through quite a few different ones. Hopefully there's something in here for everyone. So let's just start. First off, I have my total XP quest reward, or total, total quest XP for TBC Classic, which basically, it's a bar over my quest tracker over here and it tells me how much experience I'm currently getting from all of my completed quests. Now you can see I have two completed quests right here, and they didn't get picked up before I activated the add-on. You have to pick up the quest after activating it, but what you can do is just abandon this quest and re-pick it up, and that way it will track it. So any quest you pick up after activating the add-on itself, or after having it active, it will show up right here and it will show you how much experience you get out of all of the experience you need to level up. So you can see right here, or down at my action bar as well, that I'm missing 613,647 experience. And that is the same thing it says up here as well. So if you are out in the open world doing some quests and you're wondering, will these quests give me the last experience I need to level up? Well, you don't have to do the math yourself. This add-on will tell you whether or not you have the experience needed to level up by handing in those quests before you go and hand them in. It not, it's not something you need, it's just quality of life and I just like it. Number two is the LFG Bulletin Board. This add-on has been doing wonders for me so far in TBC and I really could not see any life without this one. I'm so glad I found this one on randomly while searching on the actual add-on yeah, Curse Forge. And this one has been so helpful. Like, if you just log into TBC Classic right now, the one thing you will probably see straight away is the LFG spam. I still have it for some reason, I just haven't been bothered to take it away. Some people kind of get annoyed by this, but that's fine. I just leave it there for some reason so I can see some groups. But this thing will pick up pretty much anything. So instead of looking for the specific thing you're looking for in LFG chat, which is going crazy all the time, you can just go into this add-on and the things that are happening in LFG chat also gets categorized here. So you can find Ramparts group right there, you can find Slave Pens groups, you can find both Normal and Heroic, so for example this one is Heroic, and you can slash who this one as well to see if it's level 70 and so on. So it's a very handy add-on, and you can basically, if you only want a group for the Mechonar, you don't have to constantly put an eye on LFG chat, instead you can just use this add-on and check if there's any groups right here. If you also scroll all the way down you have the miscellaneous, and also the trade section as well. So it pretty much picks up everything from LFG chat and puts it in this add-on and it's super handy. So whenever you want to join someone's group, you can both right click their name, you can slash who them, you can whisper them, you can invite them. There's so many different options. So I really like this add-on, it's super simple to use. There's been a couple other ones as well that do the same thing, but this one is just so simple. You can also make it smaller, bigger, whatever, based on your desires. So I just have it like this. You can make it a lot shorter as well, so you just have one dungeon that pops up right there. You can do like this, it's all up to you. I just like having it roughly like this, so it takes up that one spot in the corner. And I keep this up whenever I'm looking for a dungeon. And if you don't want it here anymore, you just click on this little uh, button, it goes away. It's super simple. Now the next one I want to talk about is called Sexy Map. That is the map that I'm using myself, Sexy Map. I will leave the names of all of these add-ons in the description instead of leaving the links, because a lot of different people use different sources for their add-ons. So I'm just going to leave the names so you can check them out. Now Sexy Map is kind of... It's awesome, you can do a lot of different things, by default it will show up as a circle with some glow around the map. I think that is kind of distracting, so I went with the simple square one instead, 
And what's so beautiful about this is you can just click it and drag it wherever you want. So whenever you are farming Herbalism and Mining, you can have it right here, for example. So instead of having to put your eyes up to the corner all the time, you can just fly around, look at your character, and you will always have the map in the middle. I choose to have it down here while I'm looking for herbs, but that's just a personal preference. And you can also have it like a square like I have right now. And what's also kind of beautiful is that you don't have to have all of these kind of things, uh, like buttons on your minimap, they don't have to be visible all the time. So you can see right now, personally, I only have the mailbox uh, up all the time, as well as my tracking, so if I'm tracking ores or herbs, as well as my farm log, which is right there as well. And I also have my LF3 bulletin board. All of the other add-on buttons are hidden by default, but when I mouse over my map, they become available again, so I don't have to look at all of these clutter all the time. It looks really clean whenever you don't have your mouse there. And whenever you want to click on some of your add-on buttons, just go and mouse over, and it shows up again. So it's a really simple map add-on that you can customize the way you want. You can have a glow around it for some um, <laughs> effects. Yeah, some glow effects, really. But I think that's kind of distracting, so I, just, I go with this. Now this next add-on is one I'm using for gold farming pretty much all the time. I used it a lot in retail and now we have it in, in TBC Classic as well, and that is Loot Appraiser. For this one you have to download the Loot Appraiser Classic TBC V2.1. Once you have this one, it's super simple to use. Basically click on your map over here, you can just left click this one and right click it. So left click to open the main window right there which basically tracks your gold per hour, shows you how long you've been doing it, your, uh, where you're at, looted item value, currency looted, mob kills and stuff like that as well. Now to get this one to work, just right click the button as well, right there. And when you have it right clicked, so you go to the options, you can just go to add-ons interface as well. Make sure you set it to common if you want to gather herbs and mining. If you only want uncommon, you can go for that as well, that's like... That's a retail option really. When it comes to TBC, you will be doing lots of common stuff as well that is worth a lot of gold. And set the currency to gold. You can also set the loot alert threshold to whatever you want. You can auto sell grape uh, items, auto repair gear. And this is the thing you have, to, you have to have TSM. And for the price source, you can go through multiple different options. You have the custom price source, you have TSM historical price, market value, minimum buyout, the region stuff as well. And you can also go with the vendor sell as well, which is basically counting the vendor price of everything you have. Those are just those options. You have several different op options over there as well. It's super simple to set up, but if you're farming gold, I think having some type of add-on like this is absolutely crucial. And loot appraiser is probably the best one out there. Now this next add-on is called Tomcat's Add-on Suit, and basically right now I'm in set of calls, if I press my map, there's nothing going to show up, like you only have the regular map for the zone where the dungeon is, but if you have Tomcat's Add-on Suit, you will get a map of the dungeon itself. So basically, once you activate Tomcat's add-on suit and you press M now to open the map, it will look like this. It's basically taking the maps from retail or from Wowhead and stuff like that for the dungeons and it slaps it on your map. So you actually have the maps right here. So this will work whenever you enter any dungeon and it doesn't show you on the map like where you are, but it shows you the map for the dungeon itself, which can be quite handy to new players, or pretty much anyone to be honest. So if you want to have those dungeon maps, well there you go. Now this next add-on I want to talk about is the Wii Chorus add-on. Wii Chorus can do incredible things for you in-game. And instead of talking just about Wii Chorus in general, I'm just going to say they can do incredible things. And I'll show you this one Wii Chorus that I'm super fond of. This one Wii Chorus right here will tell you pretty much any ability for any mobs in TBC Classic. And you can see in the right corner, like bottom right, you can see the boss mechanics, you can see different mobs. Whenever they have any special abilities, which a ton of mobs in TBC actually have special abilities, you can see it with this weak horror. The weak horror will also be linked in the description. The link to the weak horror itself, you can paste them in it. You have to have weak horrors installed, like the add-on itself. Then you just go to import and you import the string to use the weak horror. 
Now, by default, it will just show you the names of those abilities, like right here, but when you control click, it will show you exactly what those abilities do as well. So if you're a new player, or just like a new player, for example, if you're a new player, you don't really know any of the boss mechanics, you can use this add-on right here and this weak or a string to tell you exactly what the abilities will do and you will know roughly what they will do. They don't tell you the amount of damage they will do, at least not usually. Some of them actually do that as well, like Wing Buffet all the way down there tells you how much damage as well. But it will show you if, an ab if, a, if a mob can silence you, if they will sheep you, polymorph you, stun you, bash you, like anything they are doing, it will tell you that one. So it's a super handy add-on to have. Like this one as well, for the boss itself, it tells you exactly what to watch out for. So it's really just incredible to be honest, and I love weak wars in general, and this one is fantastic. Another add-on that I've been using a lot myself while leveling or like while attuning myself to raids whenever I'm leveling new alts or doing anything really, is the attune add-on. This one is incredibly handy, it tells you pretty much which things you are attuned to, and which things you need to work on. And for example, you can see the things I already have the attunements for is in green, right here. And whenever you're doing the Karasan attunement, it tells you every single step for the attunement itself. So it shows you the reach level 60 requirement, and then you have the quest, you have these two quests as well, you have the next quest and so on. It pretty much guides you through anything. It also shows you if you have something else you need to get attuned for, so like Shad Labyrinth right there, and also the Architrans. And if you want to see how to get attuned to add the Architrans, then you can just click right here, and it will show you exactly what to do for that attunement as well. You can also see what you need to do for future raids as well, so Serpent Shrine Cavern for example, you can see this attunement right here, so reaching level 17, then Scenario and Expedition, and then go on to doing this one and so on. And once again, it shows you right there, Karasan Attunement. Click there, it will show you that one as well. So it's a really handy add-on to have for attunements in general, both for raids and heroic dungeons, and just anything really. Some dungeons you have to have a key for, some dungeons you have to craft those keys, some, qu some quests you have to go through a quest line to be able to craft those keys as well, like the Shattered Halls, and just for the raids you have to do a lengthy quest chain, but with this add-on it becomes a little bit more easy, and this add-on will tell you exactly what to do. It will also tell you which guild members are currently on which step for the attunement itself, so if you are in a raiding guild, it's a definitely good add-on to have, but it does kind of, I think it depends on them having the add-on as well, but that way you can coordinate, so if you see that you are on a, on a part of the quest that requires doing a dungeon, and you see four people from your guild are on the same part, you can do that dungeon together, and it's just super handy. Now this next add-on that I'm using quite a bit is a PvP specific add-on, and that is called Battleground Enemies. You can see it all the way up here. It's a really handy add-on, especially at the beginning of every single Battleground, because that's where you can see which classes the enemy teams have, as well as which specs they have as well. So having this one, like I just set it up like this, so you have both the Alliance and the Horde players, you can choose to only have the enemy faction or the enemy group. You can also choose for one of the groups to be bigger than the other one, but I just set it up like this in the corner, and that way you can also see how many is alive from your team, and how many is alive from their team as well, and you can also see how much health they have as well. So it gives you a much better sense of whether or not you are winning the battleground itself, and you can see right now everyone on Alliance is alive, while Horde has about 6 people dead, so right now we are in a very good position. Mainly I just use this one to see which classes they have before the battleground begins, so I kind of get a better idea of where to go and which buffs to give out and stuff like that as well, but it's just a very handy add-on to have in general for PvP. It works both in casual battlegrounds and also in rated battlegrounds for retail as well, and also for arena, so you can use this for pretty much everything. So Battleground Enemies is the name of the add-on, and once again the links to all of these add-ons, or the names I should say, will be in the description, so make sure you go and check them out. Many of these add-ons I use on pretty much a daily basis, they have vastly improved my gameplay experience so far in TBC. One more add-on I will mention super quick is the Bagnon add-on as well, which basically turns all of your bags into one big bag, that is just a quality of life and a personal preference, 
but I think this looks super clean. And instead of having several small ones, you just have one big bag that takes up a huge part of your screen whenever you have it open. So that is it guys, hopefully you, guys, you enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below, leave a comment as well, subscribe for more TBC Classic content, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.